The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our Resident Evil 3 Nemesis playthrough. Okay, we got a few things we need to take care of here. Um, okay, we don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. I'll take you. Why not? I do need that. Um, think. Is there anything else I need? Do, 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 do. I might bring you, actually. Okay, I think we have to go towards the Raccoon Press. What the? I think it's newspaper, local news, whatever. Gotta head over there. Oh, yeah, you know what? I just remembered something really important. Okay. Couple things to note in this little section. Okay, so first, I really like this area. What's right in front of Jill? I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. I like the set dressing they have there. Oh, actually, this. Um, yeah. Take handgun bullets. Combine. Okay. So this dial thing, a clock that is not functioning. Two gems are missing from the hour plate. So we got the blue one. Okay, seems it's not enough. Got it. Okay, so two things about this spot. So first, I really like the way this looks. The, the dead bodies and stuff. I don't think they have anything to inspect. One thing that's really, really important um, that I've found is that this area is where you end up fighting Nemesis in a little bit. And um, those things have like sort of an automated targeting system on them. So when you're trying to shoot Nemesis in this area, sure, you could get lucky and you could hit these things and it would do some damage to Nemesis. But since I'm not really that type of player and I just load bullets into them, um, if you're trying to aim at Nemesis, it'll automatically aim you at those lanterns and screw everything up for you. Oh crap, you know what? I actually forgot. Uh, I need to go back. I need health, because I know every time I fight Nemesis, I get my butt kicked. So, gotta be prepared. But yeah, it's uh, it can be very frustrating. So shoot those lanterns first, if you're not confident in taking him out or doing damage with those. Just, I don't know, friendly advice. Keep in mind that I suck, so I need all the help I can get. Okay, I'm gonna swap you out. On frere. For this. Where's my health pack? There we go. Very good. Okay. I don't think we have any threats between here and the press, but let's go around. I love just seeing like the dead bodies there, the crashed fire trucks and everything. Some of this stuff looks like the city was already a dump, you know? It's like this is an alley and this is the entrance to the press and there's like a crashed car here. It's like, is that really from the zombie takeover or invasion? You know what I mean? Like, or it's just town just got a really bunch of really bad drivers. In it. I don't know. Okay, I need that. Don't health. Perfect. Okay, so this thing, it's a switch for the fireproof shutter. No power connected, it won't move. Okay, so that switch up there that's blinking in the top left, that, we have to hit that on, but let's grab this real quick. What's this? Oh, it's a picture of the zombie from the intro sequence, if you remember that. Close up shot of a zombie. Okay, it says scoop on the back side. Okay. And I think we don't have to adjust this, we can just push this straight back. I haven't seen the push mechanic in this game yet. Classic. Okay. Top. No power. Turn on. Yes. 
I really don't know why that switch is up there. Like, is that common? Do companies do that or buildings do that? Because I've never seen that before. Switch with a fireproof shutter. Yes. Jeez. Flash. I knew that was coming and it still scared me. I was like, what the hell? Just hug the wall. Should be able to avoid it. Not take any damage. Jeez. Oh god. Oh, I thought Nemesis was going to come through, but no, not quite yet. I don't know if that fire could damage you. I'm assuming it does. So, best not to engage. How does this building have hey. sprinklers? Where, where am I? Relax, you're fine. If you say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. The building's on fire. You're okay. Everything's okay. Relax. Chill. Except for everything burning around Alpha you. Alpha team, RPD's stars unit. Who do you represent? <laughs> the logo on the back is in a giveaway. Stars, I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? Oh no. Oh god, here he comes. It's him! Hmm. So... Definitely not gonna hide in the back of a burning building. We're gonna jump out of the window, but I do think we need to wait until he gets super close. Do we die here or do we fight? Hopefully he doesn't die. Thank God. Okay. Good to know. Can we jump out this window now? <sighs> okay. So, fun fact. I actually didn't know that you could do that. I always thought that you could uh, hide in the back or jump out the window. I never actually engaged in the fight, because here's how it works. If you jump out the window with him, you end up fighting Nemesis out in that area by that clock where the gems are at. And in doing so, Carlos is already gone. So he bails on you. <laughs> <laughs> but good thing I won't this is sweet nemesis is down and Carlos helped out with the fight that's interesting did not know you could do that very cool he's hurt but whatever he'll be alright I'm sure and he also is a really good distraction for us super happy about that there's a lot of stuff in here though gotta do some digging around can't say I feel bad for you, Carlos, you fool. Come on. Can't go back around. I know there was a something over here. It looked like I could interact with that picture. Files of bizarre incense and scattered around. That picture, though. There it is. Photo C. The police have been destroyed. Okay. This box looked like it would have something in it, right? Like a... No. There's something right there, though. What do we got here? Reporter's memo. At last, I found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away, a, uh, tearing away a new flesh. Hmm. Well, it's the ear weird. Uh, it was completely disgusting. I have heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, uh, the cause of the disease is not yet known. Is this yet another, uh, is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on it. Uh, they have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people in my profession. 
I don't think that disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its uh, creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it, it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. Hmm. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. Well, okay. Just, I have a duty to the people of the world. But if I die, who cares? Uh, my fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. But you just said that if you died, it didn't matter? Now you're gonna solve the mystery? Okay. I have just discovered that the disease has not spread through the air, but some other means. Now we know. What else is in? Is there anything else useful? I'm not sure if there's much else in here that I can grab. Get out of the way, Carlos. You NPC fool. Oh my god, get out of my way. I'll check this one more time. Do you need to get so close? Is that entirely necessary, guy? Alright, whatever. I think that's pretty much it. Now, interesting. I wonder, since he's done, get out of here. Hmm. Good to know. I was not expecting that. I really thought we were going to have enough time to jump out, but we got up here really quickly. Oh, he's not holding his side anymore. I wonder if that means he's alright. And we didn't use any of our health items, so that's fantastic. How do I get out of here? There we go. see if his dialogue is still here from before. Wait. I have to ask you something. There we go. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. Okay. I have to know. Why did Umbrella send you here? Because we're on a civilian rescue mission. Oh, you're full of it. They're the ones who caused all this in the first place. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? Listen, if you want answers about Umbrella, you're asking the wrong guy. Believe it or not, we are here to rescue civilians. If you can trust me, join us. Think about it. Yeah, so if uh, if you jump out the window, you do so down there, and then you come walking this way, and I think right when you make a step over here, Nemesis jumps out right there, and then you fight him. Well, good for me, though. I was able to take him out, not use any of my health items. Bummer about the assault rifle ammo, though. Well, not really, actually. I don't think I missed a lot of shots, so did its job. In here, organize for a moment. Okay, I love how Carlos just runs away, because like he's a like supposed to be helping people, right? Some sort of uh, unit to save people's lives, but what does he do? He just like runs away. <laughs> Like, hey, I'm a civilian. Jill's, Jill, well, Jill's a specialist, I guess, but still, I would think that he would want to help her out, but instead he just runs away. Just seemed ridiculous to me. But what do I know? That Magnum's also looking mighty fine, too, if I do say so myself. Okay, so, how was our health looking like? We're good. We're fine now. All right. I think that's a good point for us to wrap it up right here. Um, thank you for watching this episode of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the Mark and I channel, part of Mark After Dark. We're going to go ahead and save it, and we will continue on with a brand new episode tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Before you go, if you do me the kindness, don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. 
If you have any feedback for me, leave it down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow when we continue on with Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, be well, and I will see you later. Take care.